Good morning, travelers, pre-med students, and undergraduates. Welcome to Doctors Inn. This is where medical experiences are shared, study strategies are examined, and life lessons with a sprinkle of advice and habits are served. For this very first episode today, I have with me Dr. Derek Cass. Um, so, in one of your podcast interviews, you also mentioned that your personality is one that is agentic and not much communal you brought up something very interesting in regards to that you said you would be considered bossy because you were a woman but if a man had the same qualities they would be considered smart and assertive can you please expand a little on this gender bias Yes. So gendered bias around a uh, kind of personality and more importantly, decision making is very real. And so there are these qualities called, you know, agentic qualities, decisiveness, aggressiveness, even how you carry yourself or the tone of your voice. And then you expect men to historically to have those qualities. And when women have them, you penalize them. And when men have them, it's an expectation. And then there are these communal qualities, right? And communal qualities are things like, you know, caring for others and remembering people's birthdays and, you know, being altruistic. And the best example I can give on this is actually not from me, but from a friend of mine. So I trained in residency under a doctor named Becky Gordon. And Becky was a resident older than me. And she was an incredibly good emergency medicine doctor. All I could see was her skills. And uh, I mean, it just she was amazing. She was a little tough, but you know, whatever. It's all good. And uh, I was like, I want to be like Becky. I, she's like a good doctor. We actually spent September 11th in the ER together. I mean, she was really a rock star. She graduated from residency. She moved to New Orleans. And she transitions to Nick. Who knew? Yeah. And uh, yeah, so, uh, and what she said is like when she was a resident and what she said then, what he says now is, so when Becky was a resident, Becky got kind of uh, penalized for these qualities of being agentic, being bossy and tough and, and, you know, decisive. And I thought they were great qualities, but not everybody did. When Nick was an attending, so transition occurs, it takes a couple of years of, you know, uh, you know, time. And now Nick is a full-time attending. He's been an attending forever. He lives his life. He passes very well. He's got, he just, you wouldn't even know. You would, he just is like, he walks in a room and it's a regular white guy, you know, he goes to work and he's working as an ER doctor and he tells the story of his baby in the room in the small rural hospital in New Orleans or whatever in Louisiana. And he picks up the baby. The baby's crying. Picks up the baby. The mom is going to do something, whatever it is. The kid's like discharged. I don't know. And he stops the baby from crying, right? And the medics come in the room. Oh, doctor, you're so good with babies. You've like, I uh, can't believe whatever. The mom comes in. Oh my God, the doctor picked up my baby. And uh, they write a letter to the hospital administration that uh. this doctor, he uh, was amazing with babies. It's amazing to see such a man, you know, care so much about people. And he calls it the Schweitzer effect, which is the idea that when he was, you know, before he had transitioned, uh, the qualities he had that were agentic, that were bossy and decisive, were penalized, but his communal qualities were expected, right? And then he transitioned and now he, you know, is a male physician and everyone, you know, that's at face value. And uh, his agentic qualities are expected and nobody is, you know, valued and his IQ went up and everyone, you know, gave him all kinds of credit. And then his communal qualities, which still exist, are now Nobel laureate quality stuff, right? And that's to me the best example of the CAC-22 or the situation around gendered bias because it affects men and women differently. Yeah, You will see, uh, you know, male presenting physicians or male presenting people feel, uh, be penalized for too many communal qualities beyond a scope of acceptability, depending where they are. But for the most part, women in medicine, when they're tasked with a job that is agentic and emergency medicine is. And we've seen this over and over again in research studies about, uh, you know, the, the, like, uh, the scoring, they're called milestones of, are you a good doctor? Um, women residents will sequentially become more worse scorers as they become better doctors because they're doing something that even though the medicine is right, the personality traits are off. And so they can't become worse doctors as they're training like it's it's crazy but it's so we've seen this a lot but nick's story i think is really important because it, it to me spells out he's walked the shoes in both lanes yeah. and i think that he can attest to hey guys this isn't a joke it's totally real it happened to me and it'll ha it would happen to you too you know kind of thing um and i i i, I just feel like that story exemplifies what you're talking about <laughs>